you give a closing statement. So we're going to do two minutes. Mr. Green, you can go first on this. Two minutes for a closing statement. You can address anything you'd like to in those two minutes. And Sheriff, you'll have the last two minutes after that. You know, I've just heard a couple of times today the, the homicides mentioned and, and the homicide clearance rate. I think that's awesome. I mean, 10 homicides, I, I do. I, hats off to the sheriff's office. I, there's some great guys there. But bear in mind, folks, that the majority of these aren't who done it homicides. These are relatives or friends or a neighbor or, or someone wanting to pay their rent, and, and they're there when you get there to arrest them. Not taking anything away. I, I, we need to solve all the all of them. So I just want to. I appreciate that, but uh, but again, these aren't just who done it homicides that we're having to to have long drawn out investigations over. They're important, hugely important. We want to get those guys off the streets, of course. And again, hats off to them. Folks, listen, I, I come into the Republican women, and I, and I know I'm the underdog, and, and you know the Republican women have contributed to Larry's campaign. I, I, I still appreciate Sharon Guthrie uh, having the courage to, to host this, because some other branches of, of the, the rank and file and other organizations aren't having forums. So I certainly want to thank Sharon Guthrie for having it. Uh, and, I, and I know I'm in hostile territory, but I'm telling you, I can be the sheriff of Smith County that, that we need because of the relationships I have with folks. 30 seconds. What I've done as a game warden here in this county, the knowledge I have of, you've got to know some of the bad guys too to make cases. And the fact that I have the leadership ability that I went to school for and understand that you're going to have to work with everybody. That means the, the district attorney, the county judge, the county commissioners, the auditors, HR, and bear in mind that Road and Bridge, too, is a part of the county. We have to be fiscally responsible with that budget. Time. Chair, two minutes for closing statement. Thank you. First of all, Mr. Green, you're entitled to have your opinion of the facts, but you're not entitled to distort the facts. Uh, and, and what I'm referring to is, and I'll go ahead and say, as late as day before yesterday when we had a canine kill, I needed to reach out to the district attorney he was a phone call away because I had him on speed dial. I don't have a relationship issue with the district attorney of Smith County. Uh, another thing, uh, talking about not who done it homicides, I'd like for you to look in the eyes of the men and women who work at day in and day out. Uh, just for instance, one homicide we worked, I don't want to be morbid here with you, but all we had in Smith County was a piece of a brain. Fort Worth didn't even know that they had a homicide. We started working it. We don't know if Fort Worth had a homicide. We had burned debris there with the piece of the body part. We worked for two weeks. We give on a silver platter to Fort Worth PD the evidence they need to perfect a criminal investigation and two homicide charges for two individuals that they didn't even know they had a homicide. We did it quickly enough that we're able to get up there and they were able to get out of the dumpster of this apartment complex, other brain matter and blood evidence that they were able to recover because we acted ex expeditiously to do this investigation. And I'll tell you, if something crime like that happens anywhere, I don't care if it's in Smith Great County, sense. Gregg County, uh, Henderson County, wherever, it's against the people of the state of Texas and, and we'll go and do whatever we need to do to help them do whatever needs to be done. Thank you. Sharon Guthrie now for the rest of the business for the folks and women. But thank you again all for coming. Thank you very much.